What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA. And today, I'm talking about one of the most underrated teams coming into next season. No one's talking about them, even though they have a really good lineup. And I don't know why every single season, they don't get enough love. I get they kind of underperform at times, and they have some internal issues. But they have a great roster, if you look at it from head to toe. And the team I'm currently talking about is the Indiana Pacers. They have the new superstar on the team, DeMontis Sabonis. He's really come into his own as a power forward. Looks like one of the best power forwards in the entire NBA. A triple-double alert every time he walks on the court. And he can shoot the three ball. Miles Turner, one of the best defensive players in the NBA, honestly got snubbed not being an all-defensive player last year. And I believe averaged the most blocks per game out of any players that season. He's... Not exactly like a Rudy Gobert who's 7 feet tall and has the longest wingspan imaginable. And he can shoot the 3 ball. Miles Turner, a very solid center. It will be interesting to see if Miles Turner and Sabonis can work together or if they're going to have to trade Miles Turner to kind of fit Sabonis' needs. Because Sabonis is the superstar. Miles Turner is supposed to be that guy who kind of locks down the paint and shoots the 3 ball when needed. Then they have TJ Warren. Bubble, Michael Jordan, whatever you want to call him. TJ Warren is an absolute baller, can get you buckets anytime he wants, anytime you need him to. He can get you buckets. They got Karis LeVert, University of Michigan guard, absolute baller. If you haven't seen like the Nets when he was the only guy on the court, when Durant and Kyrie were injured, he was an absolute monster. He would score like 30 points a game when he was the main scoring option. So once he gets accustomed to playing with the players on the Pacers, I see him being one of their best stars. And then you got Malcolm Brogdon at point guard. A guy who was 50-40-90 club on the Bucks. then the Indiana Pacers signed him, and he has been consistent the entire time he's been on the Pacers. He doesn't do anything flashy, but when you give him the shot, he will make it, and just does the smart move. Then they got T.J. McConnell off the bench, one of the best defensive guards, especially at his height, off the bench. you got to give him credit for that. They still have some young pieces. Chris Duarte, I believe is how you pronounce his name, the rookie they drafted. He looked very solid in Summer League, and I expect him to do big things for the team. O'Shea Brissett looked really good last season. I have high hopes for the Indiana Pacers. I will say... Backup center, they are a little lacking, but they can easily just sign a guy like DeMarcus Cousins, and then that's immediately improved. I love this Indiana Pacers team. Not a fan of what they did with Nate McMillan. I think they should have kept Nate McMillan. Nate McMillan is an amazing coach, and it showed when he coached the Atlanta Hawks last season. The Hawks almost made it to the finals, so you got to give them credit for that, especially since how young the Hawks are. The Indiana Pacers made a mistake letting him go. But if they can get the right coach, and Sabonis and Miles Turner can work together, Karis LeVert can stay healthy, there's nothing stopping this team from being a playoff team every single season and getting better and better because this team is young. This team is really young. Sabonis is not old at all. Miles Turner, not old at all. Karis LeVert, not old at all. I love this team. I love it. But no one gives them the credit because they play in Indiana. No one gives a shit about Indiana. No offense to Indiana fans, but they don't get love on TV, they don't get love in the media, even though they have a solid roster right now. If this team played for a high market team, like let's say they just switched this with the Knicks, everyone would be praising them and saying, oh, they're going to be a top playoff team this season. But since they play in Indiana, a small market, no one really cares. And usually when you have a big man superstar that isn't like the greatest of all time big man like Jokic, you don't also don't get that love either. Sabonis does not get the love he deserves. He is a superstar. And I think if the pieces align and they play better than what people expect and they can stay healthy, I expect this team to give a couple teams a run for their money. I see them being better than the New York Knicks. I see them potentially being better than the Miami Heat. There's a lot of teams I think they can potentially be better than. And if the 76ers don't get a good return for Simmons, I can see them being better than the 76ers. This team can really be a top four, top three team in the NBA, depending on 
how their situation currently looks and if they're going to keep trying to improve the roster. Let me know what you guys think about the Indiana Pacers because a lot of people say they need to blow it up and I am a firm non-believer in that. They do not need to blow it up. It is not the same situation with the Pistons with Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose. Let me know what you guys think. Indiana Pacers, can they make a high playoff run? Let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 300. Peace.